This is the Zeiss Icon Contraflex. It was introduced in 1953 and was a groundbreaking 35mm SOR designed to bridge the gap between compact rangefinders and bulkier focal plane SORs. It features a fixed 45mm f2.8 Tessar lens built around a synchro comper leaf shutter. Like most leaf shutters of this era, the shutter speed range goes from 1 second to 1 500th. This camera is as solid and well built as most Zeiss cameras, but what I really want to talk about is how mechanically complex it is. Its reflex viewing system uses a fixed mirror with no rapid return. When you take a photo, several things happen in rapid succession. First, the leaf shutter closes. Then, just after the focal plane cover opens, the leaf shutter opens for the selected exposure time. Then closes, leaving the viewfinder dark. The viewfinder doesn't come back until after you advance the film. Advancing the film cocks and opens the leaf shutter and moves the focal plane cover into place to block the film from light. You might be wondering why in the world Zeiss went through so much trouble for a leaf shutter SLR design. So I'll highlight a few advantages leaf shutters have over focal plane ones. First, leaf shutters can sync with a flash at any shutter speed. This is because they expose the entire frame at once, something my film friends can think of as a global shutter versus a rolling shutter. With a focal plane shutter, there are two curtains that form a slit that moves across the film plane. This means you're never actually exposing the frame at the same instant. Now, focal plane shutters improved immensely over the years and basically killed leaf shutters, but that's a story for another video. Lastly, Leaf shutters, being tried and true clockwork mechanisms, were more reliable and accurate than cloth focal plane shutters of the day. So that's the Zeiss Icon Contaflex, a beautiful yet complicated little camera.